everybody, Candace Bellows here from Crochet Away Company. Today I'm doing a tutorial for how to join the squares for the Red Heart Pattern Modern Squares Throw. This uses Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. I'm using the color Scuba here because it's a little easier to see the stitches than on the anthracite color that they use in the pattern. I'm using a J Afghan hook. And I've completed the first square in the pattern here. So now we're going to start with the join for the second square. And this yarn tends to be pretty splitty, so you may see me have to go back and fix some stitches because a ply fell off. So to start the second square, we're going to chain 16. So it's going to look kind of like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and in crochet you would normally be working into say the top loop of a chain or into the first two loops of the chain instead we're going to turn our chain a little bit over we're going to be working into these bumps on the back of the stitch so starting with the second chain from the hook so not this first one but the second one we're going to turn this we're going to work we're going to stick our hook into the bump which can be a little tricky especially if you chained a bit too tightly i find it's easiest to stick the curved part of the hook in and kind of grab it like that then you're going to yarn over and pull through and you have two loops on the hook and you're going to do that for each of the remaining chains All right, straighten this out here so we can get an accurate count of how many loops we now have on the hook. Okay. 15, so that means I missed a bump. There we go. Okay, so at this point you should have 16 loops on the hook. You have one that you started with, and you have 15 that you've made working into the bumps on the back of these chains. Now, I'm going to make sure that our square is twisted the correct direction. It often gets twisted around while you're doing that. So you want to make sure that you have the right side of the work toward you, not this side. This is the wrong side. You want the right side of the work facing you. Now what you're going to do is you're going to be working into the back loops of these stitches here along the top. So we're going to do 15 of these. So you stick your hook into the back loop, that first stitch, yarn over, pull up, and you keep going that way to the end of the row. This last one can be kind of stubborn sometimes. straighten these loops out here and do a count. We should have 31 loops on the hook at this point. So. Okay, 31. Now you're going to work the next square exactly the same way as you worked the first square. So you yarn over, pull through one loop, then you yarn over and pull through two 13 times. Now you yarn over and pull through four to do the decrease and make the corner. Then you yarn over and pull through two 14 times to do the other side. And there you have the beginning of your second square. So one side, and there's the other side. And you keep working this square exactly the same way as you worked your first square. So I'll finish that up, and then I'll come back to show you how to join for the third square. Welcome back. You can see now we finished the second square, and now we're going to start on the third square. And this is very similar to the way we start the second square. Start by chaining 16. 
Right, and then just like we did for square two, we're going to start in the second chain from the hook, working in the bumps on the backs of the stitches. Bring this a little closer to the camera so you can see. Get into those bumps. We're going to do that all the way back down this chain. So we'll have 16 loops on our hook when we get done. This is probably the trickiest part of this pattern. So just like before, we insert the hook into the bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. All right, so we should have 16 loops on the hook here. All right, and then just like we did when we were starting square two, we're gonna work another 15 stitches down the side of this square. The back loops only. So yarn over into the back loop only, pull up a loop, and continue on down. I'm going to count here and make sure I have 31 loops on the hook. Okay, I only have 30, so I do need to go into this one, which is the first stitch we need to start square one. All right, now we make square three the same way we've made squares one and two. Yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over and pull through two 13 times. We make the corner by yarn over and pull through four, then we yarn over and pull through two 14 times. And there we have the beginning of square number three. So I'll finish this up and then join you again to show you how to start square four. Welcome back. Just finished the third square. So it's one, two, three. Now we're going to do the fourth square. The fourth square is different from the other ones because instead of chaining up and then working into the chain like we've done with these other squares, we're going to work into the sides of squares that already exist. In this case, we're going to work down the side of three and then up the side of one. So, just like we did when making the other squares, starting off the other squares, I should say, and worked into the back loop only of these chains along, of these stitches along the side, that's what we're going to do here. So, we Turn this on its side so you can see a little bit better these stitches down the center here. So we start with this very last stitch we made to finish row three or square three, which can be tricky to get into. We're going to insert the hook there, pull up the loop, and we're going to continue to down this way. Let's see where we are here. So we have 16 loops on the hook. Now, according to the directions, we're going to work down the side of square one with the hook and the yarn going into the free loops from row one. It's going to be these loops here that we didn't work into when we first started row one. So. Here we go. Actually, do a count and make sure we have all thirty one loops. All right. 
three one. So like we do for our all the other squares, we yarn over and pull through one, and yarn over and pull through two, 13 times. And to do the corner, we yarn over and pull through four, and yarn over and pull through two, 14 times. And there we have it. We have joined and started square four. So the other squares that you make for the rest of this project are all going to be variations of one of these joins. You just follow the directions to see whether you join as square three or join as in square four, and then which uh, squares you attach the sides to. So you're essentially going to be working in the spiral. This is square one, so two, three, four. Square five will be up here, six, seven, eight, and so on. And we'll eventually, start to look like this. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.